Good morning and welcome back to the theater. Location change. I've actually, I realized coming in today that it's really hard for me to change locations right now because if I go to a different location, then I have to like grab, we got, we got wipes. We got wipes at every station. And then I have to wipe things down, wipe things down. Oh, English. Um, but today I do actually have to do some work in here, so it's fine. It is Monday. It is just before eight o'clock. And the reason I'm here on Monday is because I had to order stuff before I go away. And um, it only arrives. It's only delivered on Mondays. So one, I'm hoping that I hear the bell because most places in the theater you can't hear the stage door bell because obviously you don't want it interrupting shows and stuff so you can hear it here <laughs> and you can hear it upstairs in specific rooms. Most of them but not all of them so fun times. Uh, so yeah the plan today is I don't get to listen to music and I have to stay in like one of two rooms or like you know, one of two places. So that should be fun, but it is what it is. I'm pretty tired today. Not surprising, especially after two days off where I slept in pretty late. But the plan for today is to work for four to five hours. We will see. Probably four. That's what I'm aiming for. But if it's noon and the delivery still hasn't shown up, then I might wait till one. Fortunately, if I recall correctly, the delivery normally comes around 9, 9.30-ish? But that was pre-COVID time, so who knows? Who even knows? Maybe they changed their delivery day and I just don't know. So it's gonna be a fun day and then I have some more of my, of my COVID response, pandemic response plan to put together. It's mostly just printing things, but that's where we're at for the day. So I'm gonna go have my breakfast drink before I have to actually get started in earnest. And then, um, yeah, we'll just see We'll see what happens. My delivery came. I was so excited, except like this room is small. <laughs> and when the doorbell rang, I was like, ah! <laughs> and then I ran because I was like, don't leave, don't leave, don't leave. So yeah, the delivery is here. So that's very exciting. It didn't have everything I hoped it would have, but I had kind of planned contingencies. So didn't get a disinfectant that I was hoping we could get but I had ordered a bunch of bleach. Works just as well. <laughs> Didn't get some other cleaner, but it's fine because we weren't out. I'm like the type of person who would rather have a million of something because I know we have room to store it than run out. So that's good. Like, yeah, when, when COVID started, I placed a giant order for a bunch of things that I was afraid were going to run out. It was like enough to get us through June operating regularly and then we shut down so now we have way too much of it but it's fine anyways i've just been on the computer working on more pandemic response stuff um i'm pretty much kind of done the things that i need it need it to do today so like i'll put that stuff away i have some stuff i printed upstairs that i need to grab and, and file away for my response and some stuff i have to post on the walls but Overall, I'm feeling pretty good. I think it's just gonna be a four hour shift today, which is very exciting because I am very tired. I was up like a million times last night, apparently, according to my ring, uh, quite a bit. So yeah, I think the plan then is going to be to work until noon, which is about two hours from now. And then I'm just gonna do my running around that I need to do, which includes going to the fabric store to get fabric to make masks for my grandparents an elastic, because I'm out of elastic again, and also probably fabric for future scrunchies. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's the plan. The current work plan is gonna be to finish all this paperworky stuff that I'm doing, all this admin stuff, and then uh, clean the baseboards a little bit in the room that I painted Friday, and also probably vacuum that room now because I don't know, there's like paint chips everywhere from the uh, drop cloths, but um, I didn't want to vacuum while I was waiting for my delivery to show up. But I can listen to music now, and that's what matters. Honestly, I low key think I need a little bit of accolades because I went to the fabric store to pick up fabric for my grandma and grandpa for their masks, which I did, and I did not pick up fabric for me. It was very hard to not just buy everything, <laughs> but I was like, you know what? 
no. There wasn't anything like, there were some nice ones. I was like, oh, maybe I should get this. But there wasn't anything that I was like, I need this right now. And so, you know, say la vie, if the sale's done by the time I get back, whatever. So I'll show you what I got. 20 meters of elastic. <laughs> which is stuck underneath the fabric very conveniently. And my grandma wanted dragonflies, so we were struggling to find dragonflies. I have dragonfly fabric at home, which is this stuff, which I specifically bought for scrunchies, but I have enough that I'm like, well, I could give her some. And then we were like looking at what they had, because they had some dragonflies, but not a lot, and we were about to give up, and I was like, okay, I'll just pick up a fabric for me that she can pay for and then I'll use some of mine. And then we found this, which is perfect. It's got dragonflies and it's green. Her favorite color is green. So I think she will really like that. And then for my grandpa, he wanted something like old airplane-y and we found this fabric that just has old airplane blueprints on it. So I figured that was perfect. So done and done. If only <laughs> that were how easy it was to make masks because now I need to cut masks out. So I'm, I've got a little bit of a mess on my desk here because I have my sewing machine there as well. So I'm gonna take that down, I think, because it'll just give me a little bit more space to cut. And I will cut the, fra the facings and the linings. I think I have two linings cut that I forgot about. I just have to double check. So that's good. So that'll save me a little bit of time. But I did also get myself, this is the only thing I bought for myself, a new cutting mat. <laughs> so, the current one I have, I bought in a pack the first time I went for the sale and spent so much money. Um, <laughs> and it's great. I love it. It came with the mat, it came with a cutting ruler, and it came with the, the, the rotary tool. Awesome. Love it. Only downside is only 18 inches long. And when I make scrunchies, the scrunchies are 22 inches long. So I have to cut them halfway, move it over, cut it the rest of the way. So now this is 23 inches long, so I can just cut it straight on here. Don't have to worry about it. The only thing I realized just when I got home was that my ruler is only, I think, 12 inches, so I'll have to get a longer one at some point, but I'm not too concerned about that. I'm not gonna cut any more fabric until I go, other than the masks, I hope. <laughs> Said that before. And so um, I can pick up a ruler at any point. I'm not too, too concerned. And like this, this I want to get because it was 50% off, which is great. So instead of $55, I paid $27.50 for it. That's a win. I was looking at the big, big size, but one, I think it's too big for my workspace. Like even this, I think I'll struggle a little bit getting on my desk. And two, it was like 123 bucks. So like 60 bucks. Yeah, no, anyways, I think this will be great. I think it'll be perfect. I think it's all I need. So yeah, now I'm gonna figure out over there and um, then start cutting masks. Naturally Survivor, <laughs> and I have cut all the outside layers for the masks and I've cut all the inside layers for the masks. I just ironed everything. And I also sewed the blue ones there and turned them inside out. Uh, <laughs> making progress for sure, but definitely at the expense of the state of my room. Anyway, um, next step here is I need to mark where the elastic goes and then I need to cut the elastic right I keep forgetting that I have to do that step and then sew all the elastic onto the linings and then at that point we're ready for assembly. So this is going a lot faster than I hoped it would. Um, theoretically I could finish it all tonight, I think, all the masks and then I could do scrunchies tomorrow. So maybe that should be the plan. I don't know. I'm watching Edge of Extinction in case you're wondering which Survivor season it is. I've watched it before but there's this one guy that I was like really rooting for him. He didn't win, but I was really rooting for him. I'm like, I could watch that again. But yeah, so I'm watching Survivor and sewing, etc. And um, I need to flip my agenda to Monday so I can see what the heck I'm actually supposed to be doing today. But honestly, like I mentioned yesterday when I was setting up my agenda, I just put the basic stuff in. But probably have to eat dinner at some point here. That's the one thing I always forget. So... <sighs> I'll try to get all the elastic on and then go from there. Oh, I'm too tired right now, but here's six dragonfly masks, and I just need a top stitch around them. And then the six airplane plan masks. These ones are actually really cool looking. Like, isn't that neat? I think my grandpa will really like those. But it's 10 o'clock and I'm exhausted, and 
I just don't have the mental capacity to keep going because that's probably like close to another hour's worth of work just getting that done. And plus I got to switch bobbins a couple times. So I think what I'll do is I'll grab, and by bobbins, I don't mean bobbins. I mean actual thread. I mean, I have one of each that has a white lining, but then the rest are all this gray lining. So once I get into that, we're good. But anyways, um, I think I'll pull out the thread that matches that. I uh, I know I have a green that's very similar. I didn't bother buying thread to match, and I'm sure I have a gray that's similar. I'm kind of afraid because I don't see a dark gray bobbin that I'm out of dark gray, which is slightly concerning, but we will see. And then I still need to deal with that bed situation so I can sleep. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start puttering and cleaning and oh wow, there's an ironing board in the middle of my room as well. And then just go to sleep. I was thinking about going into work tomorrow, but honestly, I am just so tired that I'm not going to. My like eyes are starting to water. That's how tired I am. And so I'm gonna go into work on Wednesday and then like Friday, I think. Oh my god, like Thursday is a week from when I leave. I'm a little panicked. So I think the plan is tomorrow to finish these masks, finish my scrunchies, and then put the sewing machine away for good. <laughs> these were two sewing days that I did not intend to have. Uh, but yeah, that's the plan for tomorrow and then I'll have to find my agenda because I'm not sure where it is but I'm sure I can start doing things like organizing these bins here. I also when the whole COVID thing started and we did our big grocery shop I bought a big bag of rice because I couldn't find small bags of rice and so <laughs> 18 kgs like that will last me for like the rest of my life but I'm gonna put some of it into a Ziploc bag so I want to do that and we've got some pasta that I can do the same for so yeah I think I'm just gonna putter tomorrow with things for packing I'm sorry my brain is just like not there so I'm gonna shut up I'm gonna start cleaning up and I'll check in with you just before I go to sleep in good news I do have gray thread that matches the lining in bad news my other thread colors don't match perfectly. It's like so close, but I'll know. <laughs> and then this one, again, close, but not quite, but it should be good enough and it should be fine. And I'm just saying words now. I am so tired that everything is so much harder. I tried to move something on my bed and I just fell on the bed. It's like funny, but it's sad, <laughs> but. I think this is the end of the night for me. I'm gonna go to sleep now, hopefully get a nice deep sleep and a sleep in tomorrow. So with that, I'm going to say thanks for coming along today and I will see you tomorrow maybe. <laughs> Good night.